Soldier Boy is back once again. In this world, you either crank that Soldier Boy, pay double, if not more, for some old Chinese technology, or it cranks you. Either way, you're getting cranked. So, I mean, what the hell's the point? But this mofo, man, he's got this U2s coming out. I almost want to pre-order this, these little stupid figures. But holy crap, that's not the point of this video. point of this video is we've covered a bunch of his products in the past, all the different handhelds and systems and the crazy shiz that he had going on, and it just doesn't end. It doesn't end. But I, I kind of have mixed emotions this time, man. So he has this Soldier Boy Game Edition TRDR that you can play Fortnite and Netflix on. What? And it's coming out now. You can order this thing. This looks very familiar to me. Why? Because I've covered similar looking items. Pandora Box handheld Retroid Pocket. You know, they've moved on from this design and have done other things now. So I'm kind of wondering what's going on here. A lot of companies sell these, right? These Retroid Pockets under a bunch of different names and whatnot. But they're all essentially the same thing. You can find these like on Amazon and whatnot for a hundred bucks. Uh, Ploy Lab, 100 bucks, that kind of thing. I, I mean, they've been out for a while. It's kind of old news. But what's old is new again when it comes to the Soldier Boy game industry, right? But this one, I'm kind of curious because it does seem like it has a better uh, processor than what I thought was in the other ones. This has a Helio P60 processor, which is a processor, mobile processor, that's been out for a few years, about three years or so, I believe. And that's what's in this thing. So you could add a SIM card to the, all sorts of crap, man. But check this out. So on this website, it's trdrpocket.com, which I'm not familiar with these people. Like, this isn't a Soldier Boy website. Just a website that seems to have partnered with them. And they're selling a Soldier Boy edition of these pocket handhelds. So they have a bunch of them on here. Then they have these, these pro versions, right? And I was wondering, what's the difference with these pro versions that... that can rectally rectify freaking an extra hundred dollars. This is 32 gigabytes, 128 gigabytes. That's it. You get a bigger SD card with this fucking thing. I ain't paying you a hundred dollars. Get lost. You can add a SIM card for like so like 15 bucks and then pay them like ten dollars a month or something for I don't know what the hell, like what kind of service you're getting, but whatever. Let's get back to this Fireball Red Soldier Boy Edition Pocket 4G. Oh my God. So the new 4G with 32 gigabytes dazzling 3.5 inch touch screen has a touch screen. Okay. There's more tech in this thing than what I initially thought, but it could all be just bullshit. Could be. With all the stuff that's added to this, maybe it's something amazing. I don't know. Powered by Android includes all your favorite apps. Yeah, who cares? Uh, what else do we have here? Social networking, talks about the processor, Bluetooth 4.0, 3 gigs of RAM, mm, uh, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, browse the web with Chrome via super fast 2.4G or 5G Wi-Fi connection, okay, standard stuff, HDMI out, TRDR headphones and mini USB cable, I'm assuming that's what comes included, uh, but that's about it there, if you look at the reviews, people are... People are blasting this thing. I'm very hesitant. Like, do I want to buy this and review it and tear it down? I, I mean, mm, uh, I, I, I just, I think there's, I, I think there may be some shenanigans going on here, but I'm not sure. It sounds too good to be true. A better processor than the previous version. Touchscreen. Does this really have a touchscreen? I, I kind of doubt it. Like, I really kind of doubt it that it's going to have a touchscreen, but. I don't think any of the other ones did. Don't buy this crap. All good comments are bots. It's trash. Mobile game console. You're better off buying a Switch for this price. Don't get scammed. Retroid Pocket is the... See, that's what people are saying. It's a Retroid Pocket. And that's what it looks like. But it may be different or it may be they're just changing the description and they're trying to scam people. I'd be very, very cautious with this, this uh, product here. Not worth the money. I spent money in the past on his products and... Rebranded consoles. Yeah, they, they just drop ship stuff. Rebranded. Such a scam. Retroid. It's a very great device. Ran Fortnite very well. If it just launched and you haven't received it yet, how do you, Tony Ray Gornello Jr., know that it played Fortnite very well? Just well. Played it great. This is nuts, man. Let me see some of these other reviews. This is funny. 
Shit broke in first use. <laughs> Come on, Big Drago. It broke the first time I used it. And it just launched, and I haven't gotten it yet. Like, these reviews are stupid but funny. Don't buy this piece of junk by Nintendo Switch. This is actually a really good handheld. 90% of the bad reviews are people who don't have it yet. Do with that information as you wish. Okay, yeah. I don't think you have it either, though. Smoking on dope, playing the soldier game. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty uh, pretty nice little weekend right there. This is ass. I bet no nobody's going to use this hunk of junk. Find cheaper and better. Soldier Boy done played himself. Mm. Different lane, new games. People are on here saying buy a PS4. This for kids, even for adults that like playing nostalgic games and emulators. Much love, brother. This is a dope device. Run Android 10. If it's running Android 10, is that what it said? Because the other, the, the, the other ones, this may be updated, but it may just be all a marketing ploy to get people to this website saying like, oh, it's got like, you know, Android 10. It's got a touch screen. I don't know. We got to see real reviews of this thing. I don't know if I want to drop the money trying to get this to see if it actually is any different than the previous shits that I've looked at. No words. Please don't buy. Buy a PS4 instead. Why would I want to buy a PS4? I'd rather have the latest and greatest in Soldier Boy technologies. Soldier Boy, a whole L. This is pass. Don't waste money. Oh, man. You could have went on with that. This pass. This is ass. Man. Straight up trash. <laughs> oh, my God. Can't wait to try this out. It feels like everybody about to purchase Soldier Pocket. Here I come. I, I mean, dude. If Soldier Boy like was partnering with some some good peoples on this kind of stuff, I, I think he could do something interesting. This I don't know yet. Is this gonna be a big kerfuffle, as the ladies like to say? The 90-year-old ladies, maybe? I don't know what the fuck does a kerfuffle mean. But is this gonna be a, a, a big to-do where people order this shit and they never receive it? Because that's what happened the last time. You know, Soldier Boy, I'm surprised. Like, the people, like, really order the shits from him and just give up? Like, where's class action lawsuits? I don't know. So maybe people were receiving them and it just took forever. Uh, I don't know what really happened there. Did people get refunds? I was watching that where I was hearing people trying to get refunds. People didn't get their products. So you go into this very wary. Seems interesting on the surface. But at the same time, it may just be a bunch of boo-boo-ness and you never received this thing. The 4G Fireball Red Soldier Boy Edition. I'm curious, but I'm not $200 curious. You know what I'm saying? You know, fool me once. Fool me like five times. Maybe I fooled you. I don't freaking know. You son of a... <clears throat> Appreciate you guys. Let me know. Are you going to buy the, the Soldier Boy Edition TRDR? What the hell is a T? What is TRDR stamp? Whatever, man. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Pay with Bitcoin. Why not? Give them the Bitcoins. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.